I had so many doubters, bruh. I had so many doubters. You know what I'm saying? Like friends and stuff that I had to cut off. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. Is you even when I'm my boo? You know I'm crazy over you. I try to be dramatic i'm sorry y'all but welcome back to my channel it's sandy if you're new here um welcome welcome in my name is sandy i'm a lash artist entrepreneur educator i own a business ceo a lot of a lot of i got so many descriptions but the easiest one is i'm an entrepreneur right so um in this video today i'll be um letting y'all know things i wish i knew that i think that you should know before becoming a lash stick i think this is a, a topic that should be talked about a lot because yeah most of the times um a lot of uh, lash artists have been just like experimenting like literally just you know what i'm saying just get that training and then the rest of it is just like history but it's actually a lot that comes with just being a lash tag first things first i want to say welcome to my channel make sure you hit that like sub and subscribe button and i like that y'all have been actually gaining knowledge from these videos and yeah let's get right into it right so um it actually won't be right with me starting right into it without giving y'all a backstory about why i actually wanted to be a lash tag and then we go from there so let's just start with my backstory so this was about like in 2020 um 29 around 2020 yeah when it was almost hitting like deep covid and then i had already started doing research about like lashes and stuff i was already like crafty and stuff i was making like um like sewing in my wigs i was making lip glosses but i was like damn i need something that can give me a good amount of money like um <clears throat> per hour because i was looking at the money we were getting like um i was working a warehouse job and then after that i used to do doordash and it still wasn't enough like it was just never enough like once they cut taxes once you pay your bills you barely have nothing so it was like okay i gotta do the math there's people um and then what really inspired me actually what took me out my seat and my comfort zone is i um before like they announced like oh we're shutting down and stuff i made sure i took that course so what inspired me before actually taking a lash course was i did my research when i tell you doing extensive research is gonna save you a lot of mistakes do your research find out who's gonna be your trainer and all that dig deep about lash extensions and have that mindset ahead of time yeah what else inspired me was i set up a, a lash appointment my first lash appointment um ever and i remember um the girl who did the lashes for me she was about like what two hours away and i drove i was like i don't care i'm going to see what's up with these lashes like what is the hype about lashes like why is like everybody wearing la lashes and why are they this much money like why are they so expensive so i went and i did that um i got my lashes did and what inspired me was actually the girl who did my lashes she did them from like her house it was like a small section like a nice bed like a nice comfort section and then she had her kids you know at that time like a lot of schools were closed and stuff for control purposes and stuff so um she had her bed, bed set up and she had her kids like um somewhere on the dining table just doing their work online her boyfriend was doing his work and stuff so it just inspired me how um how convenient it was like damn she was still making money in kobe because the girls were still like doing lashes you know so that was like and, and then at that time i was like damn i have my own place too and i barely am home and that thing used to piss me off because the jobs that i used to do like i was barely home bro it's like i was rent like literally renting the place but it's like damn i can't even i don't get to sleep to nap to even enjoy like an afternoon to like wake up and say i don't feel like going to work type stuff like that stuff was like you know i had my house but i was like my apartment but i was like damn i gotta start you know making use of it and experiences like literally 
put you in a mindset of improvement so that put me in a mindset of improvement i was like okay what once that was once i saw that and i had my own apartment and i had enough space i was like it's over i, I gotta take the class now because i did my research and everything and i was like okay shit, it's game time it's game time right so um went ahead took a course the class was good but let me tell you one thing i want y'all to pay attention to me just because you take the class doesn't mean your clients are just gonna flock to you like that once you take the training and you have the skill you gotta go 10 times harder you think that's the hard part because i know a lot of people be like oh it's expensive this class is expensive but it's like damn you can make that money right back it's just how you think about it and how you implement your policies and how you put your prices and how your hard work is and how your consistency is so it's a lot of aspects right so yeah like and i just decided like once i took that training i still had a job remember this i forget to tell you i still had this job that i was still working in doordash on the side so it was less tiring it's like damn i, I go to work it's like damn and then the money just keep going to go into bills and stuff i'm like nah i'm tired of this i need to enjoy my money like how am i just working this tirelessly and not being able to like you know what i'm saying have my own so it was just like i had to make a change literally took the training and never look back never look back so that's just like a little bit of the backstory about it so yeah once i took my training i never looked back but the journey just began i didn't know that i just thought once you get it that's it no i had to put in work like 10 times more y'all be looking at celebrities and you're like oh my god they do it so seamlessly they have teams they have a team of manager this and that but just think about you as a person like ordinary you i ain't got money to hire like editor this that marketer this that and the third nah i had to learn all these things by myself the business aspect i had to learn it all by myself a lot of it a lot of it before i found my mentor i had to learn a lot of stuff by myself and i want y'all to get this in your head like lashing is a journey be open-minded and just don't stick to okay one thing and just going by the book like it's literally creativity and it's how you turn it into an income all right so so that's the first step y'all make sure you get certified you go for training if it's going to school for esthetician and all that go do that but do your research because i know there's some girls who have gone to cosmetology and esthetician school and they end up saying that um they don't even teach extensively there so you want to go and deep dive into it and see um yeah because some some states actually allow you to work with your certificate but in the future it's always good to have a license especially you know you always want to think about growth like if you open a shop or if you want to work beneath someone um for a minute before you come up you want to have your license but just go by your state but in most states like in georgia you can literally use your certificate um and that's a good place to start because it gives you a mindset of is this really what i want to do other than going to school and just wasting your money and then being like this is not even what i do because cosmetology and aesthetician school is not that cheap people just think oh it's beauty school it must be cheap no sis mm -mm. so do your research and make sure that um you find the right but i always tell people try this training because y'all usually see girls and you're like oh why should i even get you? but why should i go for a class for her and it's this much and this much it's like girl these girls actually most of them who actually have been educated they actually um can help you like cancel out so many business mistakes you know what i'm saying y'all just be looking it down but at, at the same time i want y'all to see that this person can help you like cut off so many mistakes that they like actually to endure you know what i'm saying so all right so um, i want another thing i want to tell y'all is a mistake that i made is i kind of like i kind of like cold turkey um I kind of like cold tacky like like kind of like left the job because I was like <laughs> I was like I'm done like I even have a video I'm gonna put that clip in here like when I quit and I went on on Instagram and I told people to follow me because I was tired I literally was tired I just thought I would stop by to let you know what's going on so my business is officially 
studying up and I have my website up it's on my page and if you guys don't know my business page I'm going to post it in the next few slides and if you want to be a model for my line for my um, lashes line please contact me or book on my site and we can go from there my models are definitely getting discounts but if you want to support a business girl like go ahead to click the link set your appointment and um, follow the policies though read everything on my page before you book all the policies to avoid the fees and all that go ahead and make sure you read everything before you book i'll be posting everything on this page and the other page was the and i was like okay i quit that job that was like in a warehouse and so i just had like doordash and i was like my business and then i was transitioning like full time and that's the mistake that i made i want y'all to still keep that job like let me tell y'all the job that um i got maybe back then it was it was t very much time consuming but like in this day and time i'll tell y'all like even going indeed they have these jobs for like i have this job like even for like um a better hierarchy of delivery like carriers like medical and different other aspects that pay you way more and you work less hours and you get reimbursements and stuff like that so i looked into jobs that were like the shifts were like 6 to 9 6 to 9 a.m like 6 a.m to 9 a.m like literally three hours but they were paying me like way more than those jobs for the warehouse because like literally they were paying me like double or triple the amount of money um of of um of the other the other job that i had so it's like i had to dig into a job that was consistent pay but short hours because 6 a.m to 9 a.m literally i felt like i don't do shit like i feel like i just go to work i come back but it's still morning like that's the time people are going to work but i'm done with my shift but it's still consistent pay that you can save up that you because because you have to save up sis like you literally have to save up because the, the investment just doesn't stop by your training like from then on you have to invest in a lot like marketing products like discipline like market it, it's just a lot of stuff so it's like still keep a job but i would i would i would literally advise you yeah, go get a job that's not too many hours that you feel like when you leave out the day you feel like your whole day is done and you can't even put any energy in your business because me let me tell you about this 6 to 9 a.m that shift is the best i've ever got and trust me it accumulates right it accumulates and by the time i come 9 a.m at home i shower i i just take a deep breath or whatever you relax a little bit for like maybe 30 to 40 minutes and then i start planning my content like like right now i'm here doing content because guess what that job i'm already done with it and i can still focus on my business because trust me if you don't focus on your business it's not gonna go nowhere it's gonna take you longer so you have to find those tweaks don't leave that job but find you a job that's gonna like give your business the attention that it means that's what i mean all right so the next one is um let's see oh yeah i got i got some notes here for y'all so you know me i'll be i'll be down with the writing and stuff so that i don't forget and i make sure i cover everything right so another thing is the reality is you'll be doing a lot of things by yourself as a lash artist a lot of things by yourself investing in your business marketing for your business making posts and flies for your business like that's all you like i mentioned earlier when i said celebrities have a team because you see how celebrities are able to maneuver from place to place to place and you're like damn they do this they do they have a team and before we even get to that stage we gotta do us all this stuff by ourselves but the good thing about it like i usually take it positive because it's like the, 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 the more you know the better because in the future when you become bigger and you have a team of your own no one can play you because you know the ins and outs so take it as okay i'm learning a lot of things i'm learning like even if it's editing go and try canva go and try it. you're not too you, you you trust me you're creative we're all creative so and there's so many inspos templates and all that so yeah just push yourself and i know it can be a lot i'm not even gonna lie to you it can be a lot it can be a lot but i just wish i knew that take it day by day but also be smart about it be smart about it okay so um another thing i want to talk to y'all about is products <clears throat> i wish i knew this in the beginning 
how highly your products matter like your tweezers your trays especially your lash trays and all that they really really do matter like sometimes cheap is expensive like and i'm not gonna lie i was one of those like experimenting with with amazon i'll go on amazon i'll look at different places i'm like let me try this reason this time this reason i'm like damn this one just in a week it's done like the paint is coming off it's not even working it's not gripping i was experimenting and losing so much money because people are not telling me like literally getting you nice tweezers like and most lash artists who actually have shops and stores in line have better high quality products because we have done our trial and error like me my products on slash trust me they are all tested and i know the quality that i give you know you you gotta make sure you have that high quality otherwise your work is gonna show and then it's gonna slow down your process like i'm telling y'all this is not a game for real for real this is real stuff so you gotta mentally prepare yourself and know that okay you gotta invest because it's gonna come back if you invest badly it's gonna be bad if you invest nicely it's gonna be good so that's just one of the other things i want to say products especially your glue let me tell y'all there's these glues i used to buy on amazon would give me headaches and i was just like oh my god which is the right glue which is the right glue that's why i had to make my own i have I found a nice vendor who just made me my my whole online store with the best products and i use them for my clients like i use them for my clients and i'm really 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 proud of it because it's like i was tired of like sniffling i was tired of the glue just having so many issues and glue tweezers and trays are pretty much the most important things in your life journey if they're mediocre you what your work will be mediocre just that's just for real save for your taxes yes that's another thing okay before you even get to the part of taxes is you're gonna want to have an llc and you're gonna have to want to have a business account where you can be able to track your business um, finances from your personal you want to separate those you don't want to make it um together because it is it gets crazy when you mix your personal and your business it becomes crazy and then when it comes to tax season you're like oh my god what's gonna happen so you want to make sure you go ahead and get that llc from your state just type in whatever state you are whatever place you are just type in and see the steps are pretty easy the cost is not too expensive and yeah start there and make sure all business your business aspects are just met properly like business finances i'm telling you like don't just like uh, like i was telling my clients the way you separate your instagram um your personal instagram from your business profile that's how you should separate your bank accounts for your personal and your business because it goes a long way taxes and you will pay the taxes on your business trust and believe that they <laughs> you know how they be they coming for their check so you gotta make sure you have that in order and do your research learn about it learn about it go and don't be just so drastic and just making the moves and like oh my god no yes you can be like that but after you have um pretty much what's it you have um yeah as long as you have things in order you can go ahead and just you know start off but just don't be haphazardly and then make um, you find yourself in a big, big hole. You have all this inventory, all this stuff, and you're not even able to produce. So make sure you do research to its fullest, to your fullest, right? Um, another thing I wanna um, I wanna tell y'all is you need to be extra, 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 extra disciplined don't get it twisted i love being a lush artist an entrepreneur all that i love it but some days you can literally if you're lazy you can end and you're used to just being home on your own schedule because that's the best part like let me tell you that's the best part of being a lash tech like just having your own schedule having your own money like setting the amount of money you can make hourly monthly yearly that's the best thing like you know what i'm saying so yeah like 
you have to have extra discipline if you're a person who is not who gets lazy easily and just lets the days pass by no this is not gonna be for you you're gonna lose interest real quick so you want to make sure you have like um content planners and i have content planners on my website that you can you know you can plan yourself like saving your, your budget your saving goal your monthly goals your yearly goals your qu- quarterly goals your bills all that like all that stuff should be handled because yes i understand everyone doesn't want we we all don't want to do a nine to five we want that freedom to go outside and do what we want to do wake up whenever we want to go you know what i'm saying but you have to have that discipline because if you don't you're going to fall back into that life where it's going to be even worse than when you had a job because it's like if you're not marketing if you're not pushing it out there then you're not having money and if you don't have a job and you don't have consistent clients and you have bills how you gonna pay them you're gonna find yourself in a hole so you want to make sure you be smart about your savings save 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 and be disciplined like wake up in the morning like literally treat it as a job um like for real like be be very very punctual and the same like the things the habits that you start with they're really gonna stick with you if you start being lazy and unmotivated then that's how it's gonna be so you want to be very very like open and motivated so extra discipline and actually a nice tip is for those days and i know in the lash business it can be hard some days you don't have clients weeks weeks in a row or days in a row so those are the days you schedule your content don't just let those days go away because you need that marketing content if you don't have a client go ahead stand in front of video or not even necessarily in front of video show a little um a video of your marketing show something like market every day make sure you post every day even if you don't have clients still post because out of sight out of mind like i would usually tell people that all the time out of sight out of mind if you're not gonna post we're gonna forget about you we don't know about you we don't know what you do unless you tell us what you do you know what i'm saying so yeah i know i'm all over the place y'all but like i just have so many ideas that are bouncing and i'm i'm hoping that y'all that's why i usually um hope that all y'all have like a pen or a notepad where y'all just jump the important things down so that you don't forget because sometimes i I really do be having a lot of stuff going in my head and i want to give y'all everything at once so yeah so so far so good though um so what else um yeah and another thing under marketing marketing is a big thing in your business a lot of people usually dread to market but really you have to market your business a lot you have to market because i've really seen people with bad work not really bad work but ish ish work but they have good marketing skills and they're able to improve their work and i've seen people with really gorgeous work and they can't even book a client but why they just don't know how to use the marketing tools and these days it's so easy to to just place that but i know it can be tough like i said at the same time but it gets easier just like everything it gets easier so yep all right y'all so the next thing is i told y'all to be um i'm gonna tell you is to be open-minded like being a lash tech can really put you in so many rooms give you so many opportunities and also different streams of income right let's just go down the, the lane okay the first one can be all right you got your training you're doing the service for giving lashes right you can change that lashes into becoming better you're doing um you're doing classes right that's a second stream of income the third and this is just all from lashing all right the third is after teaching you can build your own supply store you know what i'm saying make extra money you know what i'm saying buy that a supply store for your people you can create march and this march can be for all lash techs you don't have to limit yourself you can make like a a march line for like lash techs who all over the world who can come and shop with you and then another thing is youtube come on youtube educate people so that's like a five one a fifth one and then what else um you can be a motivational speaker you can have a podcast like these days you can really like from one thing you can have so many things it just depends on your mindset are you really really ready for it is this you 
Because a lot of people be saying, I want to be this, but are you really built for it? Because I'm telling you, some days you're going to feel down. Some days it's not going to be how you want it to go. It's not going to be how you expect it to go. But are you going to go through the tough tides? Because those tides, let me tell you, actually, most of the things that are considered failures in my business, I don't take them as failures. All those are growth opportunities. And that's why I come here and i teach y'all because i want y'all to take that growth with me because some people may not be able to handle those failures like i did so i want to that's why i want to encourage y'all come here and see like yeah like literally if this thing failed just take it in a different way and you're gonna see the benefit of it don't always take like criticism as it being negative because this positive criticism that can literally save you years in the business of wasting time and money so I want y'all to be open-minded um so another thing um i think you should know that i wish i knew was focus on your mistakes why do i say focus on your mistakes let me tell y'all a lot of lash techs come to me and be like oh so do you time yourself did you used to time yourself and when you're doing lashes yes the timing factor was in the back of my head but i stopped considering time because i used to panic i used to panic i was like damn i gotta be be done like by this set in like two or three hours and i would just constantly look at the time but really that was the wrong way to go about it i want y'all to take this like this i want y'all to start focusing on your mistakes i swear focus on your mistakes and the time is just gonna disappear and what do i mean by focusing on your mistakes like if you're using too much glue and it's dripping and it's clumping around and it's making it harder and slow for you to dissect the lashes then reduce your glue all right if you're not using primer that's another thing that can help you if you're not using bonder that's another thing that can help you as a mistake that you don't have those things all right if you don't have tweezers that are good enough that are gripping properly then that's another mistake you need to improve on um another thing you need to improve on is the quality of trays again that's another thing so these things when you weren't focusing on your mistakes like literally that's what i was doing i was focusing on my mistakes and literally the time was cutting down i don't even know how it disappeared i used to do sets for like five hours four to five hours a full set i used to panic and then one day i just decided to focus on my mistakes and soon it was just like oh my god the time just went down from four to three to three and a half i mean to three and a half to two to two and a half and then you know and that's how i like to keep it at least two hours two and a half is usually good like i usually don't want to rush at the same time so yes i want y'all to take that as don't look at the time i know people be so nervous you want to finish on time but no you that is going to give you so much anxiety that you're not even going to pay attention to the mistakes you have to make sure you caught you good at your mistakes that you avoid them and then you don't so that when you come in and now you're timing yourself in the future those mistakes are already gone and the time gets easier for you right so yeah keep that in mind and all right so another thing let's say oh yeah another thing important thing in the lash business a lot of people don't talk enough about it is self-care like um it usually is not talked about like especially because you know we sit down like in this posture and then we're bending down to like do the lashes so you have that posture so you want to make sure you like um you go for massages like i even usually um i have this place by next by by the mall next to my place i usually plan out at least even once in a month or twice in a month just make sure they straighten up your back and even your fingers because a lot of times when you, you're gripping on your tweezers it can be yeah, like literally you can crump up because especially when you're beginning and you want to grip too tight your fingers you really you want to go and get the massage girl make sure you have that mental health break and self-care days because it can be a lot you don't want to just go and go and go and go and go because people don't tell you like people be talking about oh 95 is too long let me tell you something reality about your business it's 24 7 if not 25 8 bro 25 8 is your business like literally you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure you take care of your body and another thing is um 
a lot of times especially when i had like um so many clients like back to back to back like let's say if you have one at ten um you have one at ten and the next one's coming at twelve and from twelve the other one is coming at two from two the next one is coming at what four from four the uh, the last one is coming in at six six right and a six meaning like from six to seven seven to eight eight p.m eight p.m you're pretty much done with that like so that like if you haven't had your breakfast or you don't have your in-betweens like you have your breaks in between your clients like usually have like 15 minute break between your clients at least you just munch on something real quick because i'm telling you you wake up in the morning and if you forget breakfast and you have clients back to back to back that's it until dinner that's i'm telling you and then you you just be so tired and so dehydrated and so like not productive so you want to make sure you make sure you eat eat make sure you eat something because serious i'm telling you we can really get serious so yeah all right yeah let's see i don't want this to be such a long video but i want to just check in with y'all and um yeah um let's see oh yeah another important thing is cleaning your tools um i wanted to tell y'all that you can go online and take this certificate of barbicide um check it on your state you can take that certification be sure to know how you can clean your tools because there's some people who come on youtube just to learn about lashes and actually avoid to go for the classes or whatever but there's a lot of stuff that y'all be missing so y'all make sure you go and take those certifications grab them all for pathogens you can do for lashes and you can also get that one for barbicide so that you just like you know you're set in for like all that stuff because it's important you have to clean your tools in between clients you can use the same tools to clean the next to the person and the next and the next that's how diseases are spread and they can go to the next person and to you and it can become a lawsuit so yeah, yeah. so yeah another thing i just want to tell y'all to just some little encouragement like like for me even in the beginning i had so many doubters i had so many doubters bro i had so many doubters you know what i'm saying like friends and stuff that i had to cut off i'm not i'm not even gonna lie because it was just like i started noticing that the friends that i had like they were not in the same wave wavelength like what was the benefit like do y'all look back and you're like damn i used to hang with this person every time and it's like damn i was just wasting my time ain't like i could literally have been working on my business or doing something better so that's how i started feeling and i started cutting not even cutting my mouth but they just dropped kind of like dropped because they they just figured out that i was in a different place in my life I, I was like i'm getting serious about my life i'm not gonna just be outside wasting money and not saving and not investing in my future because i have to invest in my future like y'all just want to party waste your money and then the next day it's like oh my god y'all we're doing a 95 and the cycle continues so i'm i'm trying to be different i'm not trying to do that i'm not trying to work hard i'm trying to work smart period so yeah i want to tell y'all keep going you have so many doubters friends family don't focus on them don't focus on friends and family in the beginning they're not even going to be the ones who support you trust me strangers will be the one to come and take your business so focus on the, those who support you those who don't don't worry about it some people be in their feelings and they give up um they give up on lashing because they think that their 20 friends are not supporting them but there's eight like over eight billion people in the world there's over eight billion people in the world and you're focused on the 20 people who ain't supporting you get over it just get over it get over it go and hustle go outside give out your, your business because you'll be surprised how many people strangers strangers have really really supported me more than like people i've known and it's it's bound to happen it's bound to happen when you level up it's just it's just guaranteed and to me i take it properly because it's like it's like that drake song when he says uh what he said losing friends and some shit i forgot it i'm gonna put it in the next slide losing friends instead of feeling like a i don't know girl i, I can't think about it but y'all know that song i'm gonna put it yeah so that drake song yeah you said i feel like a blessing like losing friends like literally i was like wow this person was li literally slowing me down so sometimes you have to notice that the people around you 
the mindset around you, you have to figure that out. You have to cut off people who are not on the same wavelength and you have to focus on your business because if you don't, then you're never gonna make no moves. And I don't want you to not make no moves. I want y'all to actually tap in, to go out and be a great, for real, for real, because there's a lot of money. Why not hop in it? Why not everyone be comfortable and make their money and live good, be flexible and all that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, another thing I want to tell y'all in your last journey, make sure you get a mentor. If you don't have a mentor, make sure you get a mentor. And a mentor can be anyone who you see like, um, but they have to be someone who you actually vibe with and you you feel like you can gain a lot of knowledge and who have actually had more experience than you. You know what I'm saying? Someone who has had more experience than you and um, yeah, someone who can guide you because yeah this world can be really really cruel but you you can get some people who can really help you having a mentor because i have my mentor i found my mentor at at a point where i had made many mistakes then but like once i find my mentor and i know a lot of y'all know sierra sierra gates a lot of people be confusing sierra gates or loving hip-hop and in real life like real life she's she's the best y'all just i'm telling y'all tv is is tv tv is scripted she is the best person ever like she's a big sister to me so finding a mentor just helped me when i tell you those boot camps those things that i was taught oh my god till this day i thank god for sierra like sierra gates oh my god i could even i could even cry right now because i love her like she really saved me so much so much stuff and it's like a lot of influences don't even give you the tea they just they just showcase the money and they don't show you how to make it but i want to thank god for her because man big sis right there love you see but anyway um yes y'all i want y'all like a lot of things i didn't know like that i just started figuring it out but i hope these have helped you let me see if i have anything else that i need to yeah, we talked about registering your business, getting your LLC, separating, um, getting your business account, separating your business account from your personal. Um, one, I, I, we talked about what um, being open-minded. I want y'all to see that lashing really is a business that will give you so much money. Think about the opportunities. Don't be closed-minded and be open to learn. Be open to learn. Just because you take that one class doesn't mean that that's it. Like lashing is a journey. Like literally, it's a journey. So um, another thing we talked about was I'm, I'm doing a quick summary so that we can I make sure we talked about everything. Um, so let's see don't waste your money on cheap tools we talked about that make sure you go and do your research because yeah just save your time and money from going through all those bad quality products and go get you nice products to start your business and so so that you can save your time because i'm telling you if i knew these things years ago bro if i found like all these things years ago i would deuces out of it gone baby but we getting closer though we getting closer like literally starting my lash business has made me so comfortable it's a friday and i'm doing what i want okay on oh, mama's like for real for real it's friday and i'm doing what i can and it's just it's amazing so yeah um i hope y'all have enjoyed this video like so far so good i just want to make sure I didn't I hope I didn't talk too fast, y'all. I'll be talking a lot and this is something that that's why I try like writing down my ideas. Like, you know, I usually try to write down my ideas because I really I, I can really go into and then um what do they call it? Tangents. I can go into a tangent sometimes. So that's why I usually write like writing things down. So yeah, so anyway, I just want to encourage y'all. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, sis. Stop worrying about like, oh, is my business going to make it or not? Go ahead and market it. Go out there. Look at your inspiration of people. Get you a mentor. Save for your business. Do all these necessary, necessary things that you need to do and stop being pitiful. We're not going to have no pity party. We're going to make moves. That's what I said. I don't want nobody to come here and be pitiful for me years later when it's 
it's like no i could have made moves earlier nah bro i'm making my moves right now so i want y'all to be encouraged there's gonna be a lot of doubters they're gonna be a lot of naysayers there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna look at you crazy like oh what the hell are you doing but if you have a vision and i want y'all to start with here start with a why write that question write that question write that question why am i starting why do i want to actually start and break it down from there once you write down why like oh i need more finances i need flexibility i need freedom i need to spend more quality time with my daughters and sons i need to go on vacation whenever i want i want to schedule people the way I, whenever i want to call them. whenever like you know what i'm saying you gotta if you want to do that if you want to if you want that lifestyle if, if if that's your why you're gonna stick to your why I want y'all to write that down let me see if i have some uh some free paper i have a lot of paper here but yes i want y'all to write the, the the question why do i want to become a lash tech and start answering that question and go down from there and have it there somewhere there's there's some somewhere where you can always go back to and anytime you feel weak you feel like oh my god this is not for me go back to it and read your why i'm telling you it's always gonna give you um motivation to like keep going it's gonna give you motivation to keep going it's like okay this is why i started it. i gotta keep going so don't give up y'all i really want to see us all win because imagine how much greater of a of, of a universe it would be if all of us are just winning everyone's comfortable everyone's doing whatever they want to do you want to go on vacation go on vacation you want to schedule appointments do this you want to go fly across the country for breakfast fly, fly to a different um country for lunch fry fly not fry <laughs> but fly to a different country for like dinner like you can't why not we have one life to live so it's like i always try to tell people do what you like do your best like do your best it's better to to say that oh i tried it and it didn't work other than i wish i did i don't know how far it have been right now that usually is bad like regret is so bad like it's so bad you could like i don't even want to like look at myself like like i put myself in like the future and see myself like oh my god i wish i i stuck to my to my lash te techniques blah 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 i don't know how far could i be in, you know what i'm saying because that's just how it is so yeah okay so we've gone through a whole lot of stuff i hope i didn't just go rumbling but anyway yeah, it was all useful if i was rumbling it's useful take some from me okay period sis all right so so yeah and y'all be active in the comment section be active in the comment section so that we can we can do more stuff you know what i'm saying so i can answer more of your questions and we can go together so yeah without further ado i hope y'all enjoyed my video like y'all thank you so much for those who are showing love to my videos those who are asking questions those who are laughing in the comments those who are love giving a lot hearts and stuff in the comments this was saying stuff in the comment like hey sandy this that, and the third those are my instagram like everybody i literally appreciate y'all like let's help each other subscribe to this channel sis i'm helping y'all like for real for real like and this is not the last deal so like yeah I want y'all to take this clip and in a couple of years, I want y'all to keep it. Mark my words. I'm going to be big. We're going to be big together. I want y'all to cut this clip for real, for real. We're going to be big. I want us to keep going. I want us to keep going. So anyway, without further ado, y'all, let me stand up for this one. Ooh, child. So anyway, it's been a time. Boy, I had that time last night. So anyway, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna say, oh shoot, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video for real. I'm gonna make another video. Um, I'm still thinking if I'm gonna do it right now. Or I'm, I'm probably gonna get. Uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. It's been a good. It's been until the next video, y'all.